with that new maid. Look at these phone bills, Bibi. Why does she keep calling Switzerland? Mind your blood pressure, darling. I don't know why I ever let you and George Hamilton talk me into hiring that woman. <laughs> She's destroying the kitchen again. <laughs> Imelda! <laughs> Something long, Mr. P. Yes, something's long. I'm waiting for my breakfast. Yeah? And who going to make breakfast for me? <laughs> Nobody don't appreciate what Imelda doing for them anymore. Why, Imelda, aren't those my shoes you're wearing? <laughs> These shoes? Oh, oh no, Missy. Are these my shoes? Well, I have a pair exactly like them. Not no more, you don't. Amelda's shoe fetish is a running gag throughout every episode. Imelda? Oh, where could that woman be? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Imelda, what are you doing? Uh oh. oh. Nothing, Missy. Uh, I mean, I'm dusting. <laughs> oh, boy, your shoes get very filthy. Well, come out of there right now. <laughs> and of course, there's a requisite heart to heart talk that's part of every sitcom. But talking heart to heart with Imelda has about as much warmth as an unplugged lava lamp. Oh, I, queen of the island blue water, peoples don't know what trouble I see. Oh, I, queen of the island blue water. What a pretty song, Imelda. I could have been Connie Stevens if I didn't have such unlucky luck. I know it's hard, Imelda. One minute you're on top of the world with millions. Uh, billions. <laughs> oh, yes, well, billions. A palace, and then suddenly one day it's all gone. Who says gone? Maybe just hidden. <laughs> You threw my good china in the trash. It's dirty. But we don't do that, Imelda. We wash them. Oh, I'm not sticking my pretty hands in no filthy water for nobody. You're going to have to get me a maid. Oh, well, we could be, uh, But you are a maid. 